Hello, I am Kasam Sheikh and welcome to my channel. So today in this video, we'll try to solve or we'll try to resolve an a very um, trending issue or you can say a trending topic to be searched like how to resolve or how to change the custom message coming in from the QA maker bot uh, when it doesn't find any uh, proper response or uh, a content or an answer for a particular question so it does give a reply like uh, no message found in the FAQ or similar kind of message so I recently uh, added some videos with QA makers about how to create the service how to integrate those service and all and from all the channels I got this uh, uh, query like to how to change this code or how to change this custom response uh, for having uh, a and uh, what we say a desired uh, pre-desired something a different answer altogether like if i'm typing something which is not in uh, my knowledge base uh, q and a knowledge base uh, i should get some response which is uh, which i decide and not a predefined uh, response as per the q and a maker so what i have done is for the brevity of this video i have uh, created one service and you can see it over here that is MVP demo FOQ. I've already uh, recorded, uh, uploaded one video with respect to this, and uh, I have integrated that particular uh, QA service knowledge base with an uh, test bot for test uh, a web app bot. And let's directly go to the test and we'll type hi. So this, this is uh, there in the knowledge base, so it should reply. Okay, so I got, got an hello. So I will write uh, what is MVP. So I'm getting the answer and it's absolutely fine. Now let's see if I write uh, what happened to Virat Kohli. Uh, it's just in uh, a random question so that I should not get an answer. So as you saw you we got a response like no good match in a fake earlier it was no match found and then later they changed it to no good match in a fake but i don't want this as a response uh rather i want some another response like some uh, say uh, like okay thanks for the question and we'll update soon something kind of so how to change this so the easiest way is if you are using Azure Bot service and you are using uh, an online code editor, uh, which is again a part of this uh, uh, bot management, which you will see now, we can change it within a couple of minutes and with a few changes in the code. Let's see. Let's go to build and open the online code editor i have already opened it so this is the online code editor you you had to just go to the bot management build and open online code editor and here just go to basic q a maker dialogue.cs that comes under this dialogue section under this www root dialogues you get a file name basic q a maker dialogue uh, CS. It has uh, the key which you add as an application setting with uh, these keys are with respect to the knowledge base, QA knowledge base. Uh, I assume that you know all these steps. And uh, uh, if you don't know, I will recommend to watch my videos on to how to create the service, how to integrate the service so that it would be very much easier for you. So if you see over here, if you go to little over here for this line in the under the constructor itself you can see that no good match in FAQ that default response message is an optional parameter over here for sending the response so let's change this you can do this in, in this online editor code editor itself let's uh, make the changes mm, thank you for query we'll update soon Fine. It's a random thing. I just want to show how to change. That's it. Nothing else. So we have done this. So it gets saved. It's an auto saved. It's on. It's an online code uh, editor. So you can just verify. Let's go over here. Come again. And you can see. Okay. Thank you for query. We'll update soon. 
so what many does like they just uh, make this change they go back try to test and uh, let's see what about Kohli so you got the same message which was earlier right so this is what i wanted to show you like just making changes in the online code editor does not will not work your code has already been deployed and that's why it's on you can see it on the online editor so when you make some changes in this code you just have to redeploy it yes remember the word you just have to redeploy your code and now now redeploying is not something like you need to do again all those steps or uh, repeat all those steps and all no you just need to click on this console icon and type build.cmd what this will do is this will publish and redeploy the code again to your bot service environment just wait for the message like uh, it's it has started up the building process it will take few seconds as per your code a uh, minimum of like less than a minute or so okay and you got the message finish successfully now let's go to the editor now let's again ask what about dhoni I hope you will get the new uh, new response. So it's still sending. Great. So you got the updated one, right? Thank you for query. I will update soon. So this is the main thing. Like uh, if you are making a changes in your online code edit, uh, editor, if you are using Azure Bot Service and an online editor for making those changes, the first step, very first step, is to go to the dialog. Uh, uh, dialog folder that is a particular CS file and make the changes in the constructor itself with your custom message and the very most important step is to redeploy the code by going to console and giving a small command named build.cmd and that's it so within two to three minutes we just made changes in our custom uh, response uh, for the QA maker hope you have uh, learned uh, something new and enjoyed this video once one more thing if you are using some channels like if you are adding to the microsoft teams or you have added to skype you just need to restart restart that particular channel again because if you make changes this is for this was for the app chat you can see there is a changes but if it has already been connected to some channel you need to restart that channel again so for how to restart that channel you can just google it around on internet and you will can get those how to restart that particular channel but for this azure bot service and particular editor web chat you can you have to just run build.cmd into the console path uh, or the online editor itself so thank you for watching the video kindly subscribe to my channel kindly like this video happy azure coding bye bye